coaching is growing a lot. There's a lot of people jumping into the coaching world, becoming coaches, a lot of baby boomers retiring. They have amazing knowledge about how business works. And now they're, a lot of them are becoming coaches to help other people, millennials and other people they are still in the workforce. As you see all these trends going on, what would you, if you have to say anything to these emerging coaches, what would you recommend they focus on as they start working with clients? Most coaches, many coaches that I met are very good coaches and terrible business people. I, I don't know what the average income from coaching is for a coach, but it's pathetic. I think it's $50,000. It's not even that. It's awful. And what happens is they make less than, uh, you know, bag boys or administrative mm -hmm. assistants, right? Why is they're terrible business people? And what coaches need to realize is there's the professional side of coaching and the business side of coaching. You need to do both. If you're going to be good as a professional, you need to do the professional side of coaching. But this sort of naive assumption that if I'm a good coach, God is going to come out of the sky and take care of me. And I don't need to do marketing. I don't need to promote myself. You know, because somehow my work is so good that, you know, the world should bow down and kiss my butt because I'm such a good coach. Well, that's not very real. The reality is there's the business side of coaching. And they need to understand there is a business. And, and also in my job, I mean, I get paid a lot of money. Well, why? No CEO is going to hire me to be their coach if I'm making $50,000 a year. It's not going to happen. You know what they're going to think? Loser. They're not going to hire me. Well, I'm a good business person. Well, the coach needs to be a good business person and a good coach at the same time, and they're not mutually exclusive. So I really think most coaches need to work on being better business people, better business people as well as better coaches. I think the bigger problem is better business people than better coaches. A lot of them are very good coaches, just terrible business people. I think that's great advice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Marshall. It's been a pleasure. Nice to chat with you. You too. Thank you.